What's up everybody? Alexander here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to clean up um, a rootkit. If you got infected with rootkit I will show you how to get rid of it. So the rootkits are uh, probably the most advanced type of malware that you can find today, especially TDL, TDL2, TDL3 and TDL4. TDL4 is the most recent, the most the most advanced and uh, the most sophisticated piece of malware because uh, it infects the master boot record, it overwrites the original code and it writes its own code in master boot record so it starts with windows, it's hidden uh, it's uh, very hard to find so if you're using um, let's say a Vera node node 32 maybe Norton Vast whatever your antivirus um, will probably not be able to detect it if it detects it it will not be able to remove it because it's very complex piece of malware and um, but we have some specialized tools from from these companies that we will use today but first let me infect the system this is TDL3 now it's running on the system and this is TDL4, this is fake Windows 2011 codec and now it disappeared and now we are infected with these um, two pieces of malware now um, the always, always the better solution is to use pre-installed environment to use um, Dr. Web Rescue City that's the one that I trust the most and after that is Kaspersky and nothing else to be honest with you <laughs> but um, you can use these tools in safe mode that's uh, also very very good solution for removing uh, this type of malware so now here we have some tools what is this? this is from Panda I don't need that. So here you have um, Dr. Web. This is Dr. Web Cure It. You can use this in safe mode. You have um, ASW MRB. This is a vast anti rootkit. Then you have Norton Fixed TDSS. This is very good tool. Um, then you have Hitman Pro. It's always able to detect um, TDL4 sometimes, no, I don't know it depends on, um, on infection then you have master boot record check, we don't need that you can use that to check your master boot record then you have Norton Power Racer it also very successfully cleans this type of malware and uh, at the end you have TDSS killer from Kaspersky lab this is my favorite one and um, the mostly used by me so now let's first run a scan with it and let's see what uh, Kaspersky TDSS killer says basically this type of um, rootkits they're running on the highest system level so it detected a TDL3 rootkit but not that TDL4 that's kinda weird maybe I shouldn't have run um, the both in the same time I don't know maybe they are overwriting each other I don't know but uh, we will run a later TDL4 that's for sure so this is TDL3 and um, make sure that you select cure action here 
and continue and uh, it will be cured after reboot so we will reboot now and I'm gonna pause the video and uh, so be here in a second <coughs> so here I am I'm standing tall I'm free of all the hate in the world you know that song from um, Radio Killer I believe yes it's Radio Killer so I found another piece of power that's the same one <laughs> So Windows 2011 codec, let's run it now. It will be here in the, in the memory, but uh, not for long. There it is. It will disappear very soon. There it is. Now it's gone. And now it's running on the system. And uh, as you can see, there is no signs of infections you will never know if you are infected with rootkit but because everything looks very normal and uh, let's run some other tool here let me try again TDSS killer I'm curious if it's able to detect this one I believe that's that it, it is able Yeah, there it is. Rootkit Win32 TDSS TDL4 Physical Drive. And uh, I will not cure it. I will skip that. Because I want to show you some other tools. Like. Like Fix TDSS. This is a tool from Norton. Proceed. It wants me to restart the machine and after that it will do a scan and uh, it will let me know if there is something on the system so I'm gonna pause the video now hang on okay um, TDSS fix tool detected some changes in uh, master boot record code so infected master boot record detected you just need to hit uh, repair button and um, it's gone but first I want to show you that Hitman Pro is also able to detect and remove this type of malware but uh, not now probably because uh, Norton is having it I don't know why but trust me Hitman Pro is um, is very good in that stuff I will show you that now repair was successful now we are clean let me just copy this where it is TDSS TDL3 no TDL3 TDL4 let's try another one I just want to show you that uh, Hitman Pro is also able to to repair to heal the infection like this Hitman Pro and there it is possible variant of TDL rootkit detected TDSS Allurion all mank so the device stock in the hard driver driver so master boot record sector 0 you have replace button here and after you click next here uh, it will ask you to insert your uh, original or maybe not <laughs> whatever to insert your uh, installation Windows installation CD so that um, Hitman Pro can replace the driver but I will not clean it now with this and that's it I didn't clean everything I just wanted to show you that they are able to clean that these tools here those are the one that I trust the most to be honest with you 
there are a lot of um, anti rootkit tools out there but um, this one brings me a good results every single time so that's why I'm using them so if you liked my video please uh, subscribe and uh, like and comment on my video if you have a problem send me a personal message I will do my best to help you and um, that's it for now and um, bye bye everybody